Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here with Martini and May May and May May and May May. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about today um, about something, some things that I've done to my camper van. Um, this is a 1987 Ford uh, Fiesta Class B RV and uh, an older gentleman had it for most of its life. It went to an estate sale and I purchased it back in March. I'll take that back, 1st of February of this year, 2015. And uh, I've been doing upgrades and everything to it. Uh, a lot of mechanical stuff, putting in a new transmission, uh, over two or $3,000 worth of parts easily on just the, the running gear. And so lately I've started on the cosmetics. Now, um, on the cosmetics, the paint was actually in, in very good shape. The, um, it was dull, and you have to remember it's 87 model, so it's almost 30 years old. But I was able to uh, take a clay bar to it and get a lot of the, uh, the old dead paint off and, and re-waxed it, and it come out good. Had some trouble with my stripes. I re-cleared those myself. But the top is fiberglass. And I never could get a, a shine or gloss to it. It's a gel coat with a, a painted finish on top. And then these stripes are actually painted on and not vinyl. But needless to say, everything that I tried, um, I used to do paint and body work, I actually went to school for it for a while. Nothing that I did worked, and so I had just decided that I was going to have to re-clear the whole top, repaint the whole top. And I had heard about people using uh, Zep Floor Shine Floor Polish on boats and older RVs to bring the finish back. So I thought I would try it. And this is the product I used. It's Zep Wet Look Floor Polish. A floor finish and um, I ended up putting on five coats on the top here and if you look at the top now I have the, the shine of of the side here um, in fact it's actually shinier uh, is it perfect no uh, but for thirty dollars it would probably would have cost me well over a thousand dollars to have this top refinished. Um, the bottom paint I could deal with, but the top I couldn't. The first coat that I put on, it really looked bad. Uh, but I had heard that was would be the case. Uh, second coat, a little bit better. Third coat, even better. Fourth coat, even better. And I applied it with a sponge, which I, uh, if I could go back and do it again, I would have just used a just a chamois or something like that to put it on, or uh, just a cloth. One thing that uh, I, was, I was doing research on how to do it was how long to leave between the coats, and uh, actually 30 minutes. So by the time you do it, do the top, and then do the side and get back around. You don't have to wait you know, another five or 10 minutes to go back around. So it was a pretty constant uh, process to keep going. Another upgrade that I did was my uh, AC fan shroud up there was white. And uh, I've done the blackout wheels, and the, uh, turned my white letters in, and the white AC shroud up there just didn't look in place. I had the Windows 10 at Lemo last week. And I'm thinking that the shroud painted black really makes my uh, this really makes everything tie in a lot better. The other upgrade I did is I ordered a tire cover to fit my uh, my tire back here. Uh, this was may may have been an upgrade in '87, but uh, the stainless and this old finish with the, the sign here. I just didn't like it, so I went on eBay and actually found a tire cover that fit it for $12. Let me put it on. I was on. expecting the tire cover to be vinyl, 
but it's actually a tent material and it's got a cinching rope that goes right over the hard cover here which is kind of nice actually because I'm able to uh, still use the lock there to slow down a thief that wants to take my my wheel and tire from me but there's the zip shine on that from the research that I found people were just putting it on uh, the gel coat fiberglass I wasn't sure if I could even put it on top of paint but it worked out really well if you look down the side here not too shabby and I was having trouble with the clear coat on these stripes I had tried to repair them the best I could but I tell you it's, it's sealed in nice and deep under all of that floor polish and for what I hear you don't have to touch it up maybe once a year if, if that so with uh, the clay bar to the finish the floor polish to the top my shroud painted black I used the rust-oleum gloss with it same thing as on my bumpers the black fantastic vent cover the tire cover I think my little van here is coming together pretty well so I'd like to thank you today for watching my video. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I always enjoy reading the comments and everything that people write underneath here. Um, also, if you want to purchase a uh, camper van sticker, uh, go to my homepage and uh, there's a, uh, a link that says uh, sticker, support my channel. And uh, love for you to have one of those on the back of your rig too. You can also find us on uh, Facebook and uh, keep up with us there. All right, guys. You guys take care. Okay, bye-bye.